ang mga pinakasikat na smartphone sa channel namin ay madalas nakapokus sa price to performance ratio to get the best specs sa pinakasulit na price. At ang phone na to ay hindi ganon. But this phone is definitely focused on price to quality ratio. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Your support means a lot to us here at Unbox. And make sure to check out our other socials on Instagram and TikTok. Now on to the video. When it comes to budget and mid-range phones, it's always about compromise. To get a great processor and the new camera sensors, it's usually the physical build that suffers. But with the Samsung Galaxy A33, that's not exactly the case. Starting off with the build quality na unang hawak pa lang solid talaga sa kamay. It comes in at a hefty 186 grams and that extra weight really helps sell the idea of a premium feeling device. Now I know I said that this has great build quality but we still get an all plastic build here. Now don't get me wrong, it still feels top notch in the hand thanks to that matte finish on the side rails and back panel. Now we are getting a boxy design very similar to the more premium Galaxy S22 series. Now this phone comes in many different colors and this is the awesome white version. It's literally called awesome white. Not the best naming scheme out there but I can't disagree with them on that one. In terms of input at the top rail we can find a microphone and the dual sim card tray that can take expandable storage via micro SD XC. Ngayon nasa bandang kanan ang lahat ng buttons, power button and volume rockers so napakalinis ang kaliwang railing ng phone na to. Now on the bottom we have the charging port and bottom firing speakers for their stereo speaker setup. Yes, we are getting a great stereo speaker setup on this device. Now my experience with these stereo speakers was really really awesome. Thanks to that Dolby Atmos certification, this phone can get really loud without losing any quality at least from what I can tell. Now, bass isn't really there, but this is a smartphone and not an actual speaker or headset. So, in terms of gaming and music listening, especially with podcasts, the stereo speaker setup on this phone is incredibly good. Now, sadly, we did lose the audio jack on this phone, which can be devastating for some of you. Pero wag kayo magalala dahil ang Samsung Galaxy A33 ay mayroong IP67 water and dust resistance rating. So there is something to be gained from losing that audio jack and another thing to love about this solid feeling build quality from the Samsung Galaxy A33. Now onto the screen where we are getting a dated notch design for the selfie camera but the screen itself is a decent full HD plus super AMOLED panel that can go up to 90 hertz. So that notch doesn't really disturb me that much especially in terms of media consumption. Now colors are vibrant with deep blacks as expected from AMOLED screen. Unfortunately, hanggang Widevine L3 lang ang phone na to. So services like Netflix can only stream up to 480p. Though non-DRM services, like a lot of YouTube videos, still maximize that full HD plus resolution. Now since we are getting an AMOLED screen, we are also getting an optical under display fingerprint reader. Again, not my favorite implementation of uh, biometrics on a smartphone because of my pasmado realness. But when it works, and it works quite often, it works really quickly. Now for the cameras, we are getting a 48 megapixel main camera with OIS, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The A33 produces great quality shots with the main camera. It pumps out decent detail and deeply saturated colors thanks to their image processing. It's nothing over the top but definitely noticeable giving your photos that extra Samsung oomph. Yung 8 megapixel ultra wide naman napakalawak yung FOV. Pero mapapansin mo talaga yung distortion at yung detail is much less impressive compared to the main sensor. Though keep in mind that this is an engineering unit so these problems with the ultra wide sensor can probably be addressed in a future software update. The 13 megapixel selfie camera does take much better shots than the ultra wide in my opinion pero mapapansin mo pa rin talaga ang post processing ng Samsung with the sharpness dialed all the way up to compensate for some detail. Though selfies still look really good especially in favorable lighting conditions. 
Now, for video recording, meron din tayong 4K30 recording sa phone na to. And with that OIS, you produce some really stable high-res footage. Kung 1080p lang naman kailangan mo, it can record 1080p at 30 to 120 FPS at may kasama pang super steady mode for near gimbal stabilization. Now, I've loved it so far from the screen to the main camera, but when it comes to performance, this phone leaves a lot to be desired. Just using the phone regularly, I did notice some stuttering which definitely hurts the 90Hz experience on this phone. It could be a lot smoother if the software was just optimized a bit more. Now, gaming on the Samsung Galaxy A33 offered a stable experience. Not a great experience, but a stable one because I was barely able to get 50 frames per second on a game like Pokemon Unite. But it is a bit weird because games like Asphalt 9, which is much more demanding than Pokemon Unite, ran perfectly well. So this could be another issue with this engineering unit and is probably going to be solved in a future software update. Now in terms of memory, the Samsung Galaxy A33 can go up to 8GB of RAM and 256GB of ROM, though this engineering unit is the lowest spec version with 6GB of RAM and 124GB of ROM. Multitasking on this lowest spec version was still consistent and reliable with the apps needing quite a while before they needed to refresh. Now, battery life on this phone is quite good with 13 hours and 22 minutes of screen on time according to PC Mark, even with the 90 Hertz screen enabled, which is quite impressive for that average 5,000 milliamp hour cell that we're getting here. The Galaxy A33 is capable of 25 watts of fast charging, but in a world of 66 watt chargers included in the box, because this one doesn't have one in the box, all I can say is that, at least di siya ganong kabagal. So that's about it for the Samsung Galaxy A33. Maraming pwedeng maipintas pagdating sa performance, but it is very easy to fix through a future software update. But I still really love this phone for its incredible balance and great hand feel for its build quality. And it also has many different features that other sub 20,000 peso phones don't have like OIS and 5G. So do you think the Samsung Galaxy A33 is worth the upgrade? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and to check out our other socials on Instagram and TikTok and of course our website for more Unbox. So my name is Anton and I'll see you guys next time.